Welcome back. As we continue our staycation week here on Brightside, if getting out into the outdoors is your thing, there are places in Hernando County that you may want to check out. I'm from that area, so let me give you a little hometown tour of several popular options. About an hour's drive north of Tampa, one of the most notable tourist attractions for Hernando County are the Mermaids of Wikiwachi Springs. Founded in 1947, while the mermaids are a big attraction, what you may not know is Wikiwachi is connected to a water park called Buccaneer Bay. With slides, a lazy river, a bar, kid pool, and more, it can make for a fun full day after you see the mermaids. There's also a state park where you can swim, snorkel, kayak, and paddleboard. If you're looking for a beach experience, check out Pine Island Park. You can soak in the rays, fish, or watch the sunset on one of the less crowded beaches in our area. Known for our oranges in the Sunshine State after all, you may want to check out Boyett's Grove Citrus and Attraction off Spring Lake Highway in Brooksville. The groves were planted after the freeze of 1895. They pack all citrus, including oranges, grapefruit, and tangerines. They also have a wildlife park, dinosaur cave, aviary, mini golf, an art gallery, and an ice cream shop. Also in Brooksville is the Chinsigat Hill Historic Site. The plantation home built as a bunker before the Civil War is one of the largest homes in Hernando County. At an elevation of 269 feet, it's also one of the highest points in the Florida Peninsula. It now serves as a retreat and conference center with activities for kids, nature walks, and guided tours. Last but not least, thousands come to the Tampa Bay area for scalloping season. Running July 1st through September 24th, it makes for a fun day out on the boat for families and friends. Unlike sea scallops in the Gulf waters off Hernando County, you'll find bay scallops that are more tender and smaller than sea scallops, but just as tasty. There you have it. How exciting. So pro tip, if you're planning a summer scalloping trip, Go during the weekday because so many people do come to the Bay Area for um, the scalloping season. So if you want to avoid those large crowds, head over there uh, during the weekday and uh, you'll get to have some fun. And if you go later in the season, you're going to find larger scallops. Okay, some good tips right there. You sound Thank like a local, you. like you know what you're doing. <laughs>